Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. My name is Damian Williams, and I'm the United States Attorney here in the Southern District of New York. Today, I'm announcing that my office has obtained a three-count indictment charging Senator Robert Menendez, his wife Nadine Menendez, and three New Jersey businessmen, while Hannah, Jose Uribe, and Fred Davies for bribery offenses. The investigation that led to these charges has been run out of the Southern District of New York. The indictment alleges that between 2018 and 2022, Senator Menendez, the senior U.S. Senator from New Jersey, and the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, and his wife, Nadine Menendez, engaged in a corrupt relationship with Hanna, Uribe, and Davies. The indictment alleges that through that relationship, the senator and his wife accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes in exchange for Senator Menendez using his power and influence to protect and to enrich those businessmen and to benefit the government of Egypt. The indictment alleges that Hana, Uribe, and Davies provided bribes in the form of cash, gold, home mortgage payments, a low-show or a no-show job for Nadine Menendez, a Mercedes-Benz, and other things of value to the senator and his wife. Now, constituent service is part of any legislator's job. Senator Menendez is no different. And as we explain in the indictment, there are things that Senator Menendez says he can do for his constituents and things that he says he cannot do for his constituents. He put it all on his Senate website. So for instance, it says he cannot compel an agency to act in someone's favor. It says he cannot influence matters involving a private business. It says he cannot get involved in criminal matters or cases, period. But we allege that behind the scenes, Senator Menendez was doing those things for certain people, the people who were bribing him and his wife. And let me say a little bit more about the conduct that's alleged in the indictment. The indictment alleges that Senator Menendez took several actions as part of this corrupt relationship. First, the indictment alleges that Senator Menendez used his power and influence, including his leadership role on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee to benefit the government of Egypt in various ways. Among other actions, Senator Menendez allegedly provided sensitive, non-public U.S. government information to Egyptian officials and otherwise took steps to secretly aid the government of Egypt. We also allege that Senator Menendez improperly pressured a senior official at the U.S. Department of Agriculture to protect a lucrative monopoly that the government of Egypt had awarded to Hana a lucrative monopoly that Hana then used to fund certain bribe payments. Second, the indictment alleges that Senator Menendez used his power and influence to try to disrupt a criminal investigation and prosecution undertaken by the New Jersey Attorney General's office related to an associate and a relative of Uribe. Third, the indictment alleges that Senator Menendez used his power and influence to try to disrupt a federal prosecution of Davies in the District of New Jersey in two ways. First, by seeking to install a United States attorney who he thought could be influenced with respect to Davies. And second, by trying to influence that office to act favorably in Davies' case. And as we allege in the indictment, the senator agreed to do these things and use his power in this way because Hanna was paying bribes, because Uribe was paying bribes, and because Davies was paying bribes. Fortunately, the public officials the senator sought to influence did not bend to the pressure. That's a good thing. Now, as part of this investigation, special agents with the FBI executed search warrants on the residence and safe deposit box of Senator Menendez and Nadine Menendez in New Jersey. When they got there, they discovered approximately $500,000 of cash stuffed into envelopes and closets. Some of the cash was stuffed in the senator's jacket pockets. Some of the cash, some of the envelopes of cash contained Davies' fingerprints or Davies' DNA. That's not all. Agents also discovered a lot of gold, gold that was provided by Davies and Hanna. And the FBI, of course, found the Mercedes Benz that Uribe had provided them. Now, the items that the FBI uncovered are discussed in the indictment. 
which I encourage all of you to read carefully. Let's take a look at just some of the items. So as you can see here, this is the Mercedes-Benz that we allege that Uribe provided as part of the scheme. What you see here are three kilograms of gold. These three kilograms together are worth approximately $150,000. And of course here you can see just a fraction of the cash that was uncovered as part of the scheme. Now I wanna make a couple of things very clear. First, my office remains firmly committed to rooting out public corruption without fear or favor and without any regard to partisan politics. That's in our DNA. Always has been, always will be. And second, this investigation is very much ongoing. We are not done. And I wanna encourage anyone with information to come forward and to come forward quickly. And they can do that by reaching out to the FBI's tip line at 1-800-CALL-FBI. Now, a case of this magnitude requires tremendous partnership. And I want to thank our partners at the FBI who have been with us since day one and have been absolutely incredible every step along the way. I also want to thank our partners at the IRS for their assistance in this investigation. I want to thank our colleagues from around the Department of Justice who are far too many to name here and to thank specifically, but they have also been invaluable. And of course, I want to thank the career prosecutors from my office who are handling this investigation. They have done tremendous work. Eli Mark, Laura Pomerantz, Dan Richenthal, Paul Monteleone, and their supervisors, Rebecca Donaleski and Maureen Comey, the chiefs of our office's public corruption unit. I now want to invite up to the podium FBI assistant director in charge, James Smith. Jim. Good morning. So I'm not going to go any further into the case as the U.S. Attorney Damian Williams explained, but what I want to talk about more or less is, hey, the FBI's public corruption, excuse me, the FBI investigating public, public corruption is one of our top priorities, and we will continue to investigate public corruption cases. Um, I want to thank the agents, the team over here from the FBI, the IRS, uh, for their hard work into this investigation. They've spent many hours and days and weeks and months working this investigation. I would also like to thank all the prosecutors from the Southern District of New York. I'd like to thank Damian Williams for his support in this particular case. I would like to thank the IRS for all their investigators who worked tirelessly along with the team here to investigate this case. Then I would also finally like to thank the excuse me, DOJ's public integrity section. So thank you very much for all your support in this. All right, thank you, everyone.